Good morning, this is David Halliday with Boat Smith here in West Palm Beach, the 5th of February. We're going to take the boat apart today so we can do the final painting on it. I wanted to show you what we've been doing to get it ready for that. I'm standing on the receiver for the bowsprit. So the bowsprit will stick out there a foot. That's where we attach the asymmetrical spinnaker and the screecher. And then when we extend the bowsprit, it'll go another four foot out. This piece here is the seagull striker. It serves to truss the forward beam out to take the head stay loads. We've also got mooring cleats have all been had reinforcements put in for them. All the lifeline stanchions. We've reinforced the areas where the pulpits will go, where the push puts will go where all the deck hardware goes. We'll go back in the cockpit, I'll give you a little tour back there. On the way back to the cockpit, I thought I'd point out the trampolines on either side of me. And then we have one side of the foredeck underway here. And our anchor locker's coming along very nicely with the windlass and the anchor storage up here. We're sitting here in the cockpit where the sail handling, most of it takes place. And forward we have our, our screecher spinnaker winch. This winch here is for the dagger board up and down. This is the jib winch and the main sheet winch is back here. We've uh, worked real closely with uh, Dave Weir from Sailing Services laying out our, our deck hardware and Dave Calvert with uh, Calvert Sales uh, to make sure that everything is going to work out just like we want it to. We've reinforced all the deck area where the running rigging is going now. Just wanted to just quickly show you the starboard fuel tank in the cockpit under the settee. We have our fuel tanks in now. They're in the process of being installed. Also here at the outboard edge of the cockpit is a, a small dam there. That is to attach a set of curtains here that this owner is elected to have installed. It'll keep any spray from coming in, and then we'll have drain holes for any water that tries to board there to drain out. Also, a quick shot here of the cockpit uh, beverage cooler. Speaking of uh, coolers, here is the reefer and freezer unit in the galley. The box there is almost finished. We're fitting the shelves, getting ready to install the evaporator. Here's a quick look at the back end of the boat. We've got our tillers in progress. Our rudders are coming along very nicely. We're just waiting to complete the, the uh, attachments for the tillers to the rudder heads themselves. We have the aft net beam in. As I mentioned earlier, we're ready to take this boat apart, put it into paint. When we reassemble it the next time, it'll be for real. We're all very excited about this. I thought I'd take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank some people who've worked really hard with us getting this boat built. And uh, I mentioned uh, Dave Calvert with Doyle Sailmakers. He's a well-known, renowned catamaran sailor, racer. He's been building sail sets for catamarans for a long time. We're real happy that he's on board this project. Dave Weir is with Sailing Services out of Miami. He's been helping us with our rigging decisions and rigging layout and making sure that we have everything properly sized for the loads we'll be encountering on our running rigging. Also John Franta with Caligo Marine. He's worked very closely with us in, in, in designing and building our, our standing rigging. We're using the Dynex ducts with the Caligo dead eyes and cheek blocks on the mast. We're very happy with uh, the service we've gotten there and the products. We're, it's uh, nice to work with him. We've had Eric Sponberg, a naval architect out of uh, St. Augustine. He has been uh, involved uh, right from the get-go on this boat as far as doing our structural engineering on the beams and the dagger boards and our sail plan getting it worked out just right. On the 
material end of it and uh, advice of uh, structural advice techniques whatnot we've uh, we worked real closely with George Clayton from Fiber Lake. We get our resin, our reinforcement fabrics, a lot of our structural foams from them. George has been very enthused about this project right from the get-go and has brought a wealth of uh, experience in catamaran building and, and composite construction, uh, which has enabled us to build a stronger, lighter boat. We want to also acknowledge Hugh Rodney Higginbotham III, more commonly known as Trip, with Gorilla Tops. He's been doing all of our metal fabrication here for us. We'd also like to acknowledge S&J Manufacturing. They've done all our machining. And of course, all the fellows that have been just working as hard as can be on this boat to make it happen and to get it done in a timely fashion. Uh, we got a great crew here. We're ready to build your boat.